So I want to welcome you to the Supporters Trust, and I'm excited to be here. I'd be more excited if we were playing better. <laughs> we just finished watching the game on Tuesday. It's, I'm taping this on Tuesday. Between the last two games, pretty depressing. Uh, obviously, I'm not happy about it. Uh, I've been there before. We owned a uh, baseball team. We owned a hockey team. The baseball team won the World Series eventually. The hockey team won the Stanley Cup. But we had days like this. So I, I really can't address the pitch. Uh, maybe if it rained more often, we would have games like uh, Sunderland. But surely uh, the Cowleys are addressing the problems on the pitch, and hopefully it'll get much better. I really want to talk about uh, the long-range vision. And, and I did talk to you all four years ago, and I've seen in the press questions about what we've done, how we stuck to what we said, and all of that. And interestingly, I have made statements way in the past that when I get to the present, I think, how did I say something so stupid? But in this particular case, I think what we promised has come true. Now, we did say it would take a while to get our bearings straight to be promoted. I think I even said four or five years. We're kind of at the end of that period. Hopefully, it won't be too much longer. But I think we've made a lot of progress. We've made a lot of progress behind the scenes. And I want to tell you a little bit about that. Obviously, uh, we spent a great deal of, of money, pounds, translated dollars, uh, to get done what has to get done. Uh, let's start off by just making it an acceptable experience, just getting a new scoreboard, just bringing it up to speed, just making a deal with Nike, just making a deal with uh, the university so we didn't have betting on our, our shirts. Uh, higher quality of, of uniforms, a great logo. We did that at the beginning. Then we acquired quite a bit of land around Fratton Park. Uh, we moved the merchandise store. I think that's been a big success. We prepared for the future behind the North Stand, or in the process of preparing, preparing for the future. Uh, and then we faced Fratton Park. Dealing with Fratton Park is like dealing with a two or three hundred year old house. You buy it, you get inside, and you realize every piece of the plumbing has to be changed. The stains, the doors, the safety, all those things had to be being brought up to date. And we have done a lot of that, and we're in the process of doing a lot of that, including eventually getting to the Milton End. Uh, I do apologize for the disruption of the fans while we're doing everything we have to do. You know we've already cleared the sides and put on new roofs and all of that stuff. That's nothing compared to what we have to do over the next four years. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We will get up to 20, 21,000 seat capacity. If we hadn't done anything, uh, as England became more safety conscious, we were going to be pushed down to eight or 10,000 in that stadium. I love the stadium. I think the fans love the stadium. It's going to be one of the great historic places uh, to go. We're, we're, we're bringing it back to its glory. Uh, we're going to try to deal with the leech uh, specifics in the stadium that are historic. There will be two stadiums left in England like that. Uh, eventually, eventually, when we move up to the championship and maybe above, We'll be building a new North Stand, and maybe then we'll even get to 30,000 or more. Uh, it is difficult. There is no question about it. Um, but I think it is the right thing to do for Portsmouth. It was right to make a deal with Nike. It was right to make a deal with the university. And what's really right is making a deal at Rocco. Portsmouth Football Club, Poppy, has never owned its own training ground. And we believe in the training ground. We believe in the academy. We want the local boys to have a shot at being on the first team. We want the first team to practice with the academy players. So we made a big investment. After we made the investment, and we did it during the pandemic, and most people during a pandemic 
would not invest in real estate. But we felt that the price that they were willing to sell during this down period uh, was worth us making the investment. Now, of course, we found out that the swimming pool leaks. We have to move the, the spa in a different place. A lot of work has to be done to bring it up to standards that Poppy demands. But it's the right thing to do. And we have to renovate it. We have to work in the pitches there. We have to figure out maybe how to expand it and what to do with Roco. So we're, you know, we're really excited about having Roco. And we're really excited about getting Fratton Park right. We hope we can get the uh, ability to people, for people arriving at Fratton Park to be much more effective and safer. You know, getting off the train and walking on that sidewalk, which is about a meter wide, is not, is not direct and it's not safe. So we'd like Network Rail to work with us to get a bridge going across the tracks so we can come through whatever is going to be developed out there behind our stadium so the entrance is safe and nice. And that is an ongoing uh, work that has to be done. We work with the city council, with all the government agencies, to try to make a sustainable, uh, attractive uh, team that plays Saturdays at 3 o'clock and occasionally on Tuesday, except Hopefully we won't have any more Tuesdays like we had this week. So my, my message is, I think we are delivering what we promised. Now, what I didn't expect, because in this country, the fans don't want to see from the owner. The fans, when an owner or a politician comes out on the, on the field or the pitch, they get booed. And I come from the theater and from movies and television where the hand of the owner, the hand of the director, should be not seen. It should look like on stage it all happens spontaneously. It just happens. It should look like in a movie that it just happens. Well, I have learned a little bit about English football, and the fans want and they demand more information about backstage. And this is the beginning of giving it. Now, we have been rather forthright in Mark Catlin giving it. We've been forthright in Andrew Cullen now giving information. Tony Brown, who runs our finance, gives information. Anna gives information about our marketing and about all things happening. Uh, so we have been giving the information, but not necessarily from the owners. And I'm going to step that up. Now, I picked a time when we started this season rather inappropriately, not winning. And I know that is really what fans want. But you can't really start winning without the foundation. And we have been building the foundation. It is rather expensive. Uh, I think it's worth it. I think in the end of the day, and I'm speaking at a time that's a little depressing based on the way we're, we're playing, at the end of the day, it will work out. I am, Eric is, my family is, Andy Redman is optimistic. You can't be a pessimist and be in the sports business. So this week and last Saturday was certainly a depressing time. Sunderland was a little bit much of the opposite. But we have to get that act together, and we will, when that dog starts barking in the background, we will get our act together. Uh, we will continue to develop. Rocco, we will continue to develop Fratton Park. We will continue to uh, acquire land around Fratton Park so when the time comes, we can really increase the development. We will continue to work hard on the transfer windows. By the way, we are spending more this year on the pitch on players than we did last year. That's not the magic bullet. It all depends who you pick and how you put them together and how you coach them. But we are supporting the Crowleys. We are supporting Andrew, and even though this is a, not in Southern California, a dark day, it's a dark day at Fratton Park. So I hope you'll be patient. I'm patient. I'm swallowing the amount of uh, funds we put into this park. It's all equity. Uh, I work with, I listen to, 
as does Eric, as does my other sons, as does Andy Redman, to the coaches, to Andrew Cullen, Mark Callan is still on our board, and we will persevere. So I hope you have a great conference. Don't be too depressed. And all I can say is onward. Thank you very much.